Hey guys, Jason here with Quantum Courses, and in this tutorial, we'll be going over how to set up a new blog on Shopify to provide engaging content for your audience and help increase traffic to your online store. On Shopify, you can easily add a blog to your online store to help improve your SEO, increase traffic, and start building a community for your brand and products. Blogging is a great way to update your Shopify customers about product releases, brand updates, business related stories, or anything else you think your audience may enjoy. If you like, you can even add videos to your posts to create an engaging vlog for your Shopify store. Vlogging can help build an even stronger connection with your audience by letting them get to know you through video. In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to set up a new blog for your Shopify store, create blog posts with images and video, how to add your blog to your main menu, and much more. Not only is blogging a great way to keep your shoppers updated, but it can also help drive traffic to your online store with improved SEO and increased customer engagement. So now let's head over to Shopify and go over how to add a new blog to your store. If you haven't signed up for Shopify yet, make sure you unlock your free trial by heading over to jasongandy.info or by simply clicking the link in the video description. No credit card is required to get your free trial, and if you like it, you can get three months of Shopify for only a dollar per month on select plans. If you're an entrepreneur, Shopify is definitely the most popular and one of the best platforms you could use to build your online business. So now that you've unlocked Shopify, let's log in and go over how to add a new blog to your online store. Once you log in, you should be taken to your Shopify dashboard. Here's where you can add products, view your analytics, and update your online store. To create a new blog for our Shopify store, we need to look at the menu on the left hand side and click on the online store tab. This will open up the themes page where you can change your store's theme or customize the theme you're currently using. On the left hand side menu, you should also see new options under online store. One of the options should be blog posts. Let's click that now. Here's where you can create a new blog to add to your Shopify store. As you can see, I currently don't have a blog, but we'll be creating one momentarily. On Shopify, you can actually set up multiple blogs, which we'll be going over later. But for now, let's just click the Create Blog Post button. Here's where you can customize the new blog post to add to your Shopify store. This includes adding your title, your content, your featured image, and other publishing options. For your blog post, you can write anything you like related to your brand, business, or products. For this example, I'm going to create a blog post promoting my new women's racerback tank tops. So let's go ahead and fill in the title for my blog post. When writing your titles and your content, remember to use good keywords for SEO. Also, your title's required so you'll need to put one in to save your post. So now let's move on to the content. In the content section, you can add all the details of your blog post, including your text, images, or even videos. And if you're discussing something you want your viewers to check out, you can add links in your content as well. So for my blog post, I think I'm gonna start with the banner image. If you need an easy way to create banners, logos, and other graphics for your Shopify store, you should click the link in the video description to unlock your free trial of Canva Pro. They have thousands of professional design templates that you can easily customize to create some amazing content. With Canva Pro, you can access all of the design templates, the entire Canva library of images and graphics, the background remover tool, and tons of other awesome features to help you build and grow your brand. So now that I've created my banner, let's go over how to add it to my blog post. If you look at the toolbar in the content section, you should see an image icon. Let's click that now. This will open up a box where you can access your Shopify images. To upload a new image, let's go down to the bottom and click the Upload File button. I can then find and open up the banner I just created. Once your image has been added, you can select it and you'll see a few more options pop up at the bottom. In the first text field here, go ahead and enter your image alt text. This is text that describes your image and can help with accessibility. And at the bottom, you can also see the size drop down menu where you can select the pixel size for your image. Since I'm adding a banner, let's select banner image with 600 pixels. Once you've selected your image, added your alt text, and selected your size, go ahead and click on insert image. And my new banner has been added to my blog post. Since this is a blog, I think the next thing we should add is some text. Let's start with a good headline to describe my post. 
For my headline, I also want it to stand out, so let's use the toolbar up top here to add some formatting. Using the text formatting tools, I can make it bold, center my text, change the color, or add any of the other options available here. But for my heading, I'm actually going to select it and use the first option here to change the heading format. Here you have various options for your heading size, ranking from large to small. For my heading, I think I'll go with heading 2. Now that I've added a heading, let's add some text to my blog post. When writing your blog post, try to be as engaging as possible and include keywords and keyword phrases that customers may look up. Your blog posts will help with your store's SEO, which will in turn help with your sales. When writing your blogs, not only can you add images and text, but also add videos as well. This could be anything from you talking about your brand to a video showing off your products. If you like, you could even create a vlog to better connect with your customers. To add your video to your blog post, look up at the toolbar up top and click the video icon. This will open up a box where you can paste in the embedded code for your video. To get your video's embedded code, you'll first have to upload it to either Vimeo or YouTube. For my video, I'm just going to upload it to my YouTube channel. If you want your video to show up on your Shopify blog but not on your YouTube channel, make sure you upload it as unlisted. And once your video has been uploaded, you can go to your videos page, click the share button, and from the box, click the embed icon. This will show you the embedded code for your video. To copy the code, go down to the bottom right and click on copy. Your video's code has now been copied to your clipboard, and we can go back over to Shopify and paste it in the box text field. Now that we've added our video code, let's go down to the bottom right and click on insert video and your video should now be added to your blog post. For my example video, I'm just showing a model wearing my women's racerback tank top. But for your blog, feel free to add any type of video that you wish. Underneath my video, I think I'll add another section with a heading and some more text. If you're talking in your video, one quick tip for SEO is to simply add the script to your post. This will provide you with more text and keywords without additional work. So since my blog post is about my new women's tank top, let's add a link to my product. First, let's type in the text that I can add my link to. Now that I have my call to action text, let's select it, then look up at the top menu and click the link icon. Here's where you can paste in the link that you want to send the viewer to. Since I'm adding a link for my women's tank top, let's go over to the product page and copy the URL. With the URL copied, let's head back over to Shopify and paste it into the link to text field. From the drop down menu beside it, I'm going to select to open the link in a new window. And at the bottom, you also want to add a link title to help with your accessibility and SEO. Once you're finished, go down to the bottom right and click on insert link. And the link to my product has been added to my text. Underneath my call to action text, I think I'll also add my product image. So to add my product, let's look up at the top menu and click the image icon. This time, instead of uploading a new image, let's click the Product Images tab. From here, you can view all the products that you currently have added to your store. So let's select my women's racerback tank top. When you select a product, you'll see the size drop down menu pop up at the bottom. In my blog post, I want my image to be displayed as a product thumbnail. Once you've selected your size, go ahead and go down to the bottom and click on Insert Image. And my product image has been added to my blog post. For my product image, I'm also going to insert the link to the tank top landing page. So let's select the image and go up and click the link icon. I can then add the link to my product, add my link title, and select to open the link in a new window. I can now click on insert link and the link should be added to my product image. So for my example blog post, we've added a product image, a link to my product page, some text, a video, a heading, and a banner image. I think that'll do for my blog post content, so let's move on to the other publishing options. The next thing I want to add is the featured image for my blog post. When viewers visit your blog, this will be the image they can click to read the content. So to add my featured image, let's click the Add Image button in the middle here. I can then find and open up the image I want to use for my featured image. There we go. Try to add a featured image that represents what your blog post is about. And if you scroll down underneath your featured image section, you should see the organization section. Here's where you can select your author, the blog you want to add your blog post to, and add tags to your blog post. 
If you have other people helping you with your blog, you can use the drop down menu here to select a different author. If you click the blog drop down menu, you can select which blog you want to add this blog post to. On Shopify, you can actually create multiple blogs for your store. I'm actually going to add this to a new blog, so let's select create a new blog. You should then see another text field pop up where you can add your blog title. Remember that this is the title for your actual blog, not the blog post that will be added to your blog. And in the last field here, you can add tags for your blog post. Your tags are pretty much keywords that are related to the content of your post. Having tags will help your audience find your post based on various categories. When entering multiple tags, make sure you separate them by commas. You can have up to 255 characters in the tag section. So the next thing I want to edit here is my blog excerpt. This is a short summary of your blog post that can appear in various places such as on your homepage or in your blog beside your featured image. If we click the add excerpt tab, we'll see a text field pop up where we can add a summary of our blog post. Go ahead and add a few sentences that describes your blog post. Feel free to simply copy and paste some of the text from your actual blog post if you wish. Also, for my excerpt, I think I'll copy and paste the link to my product as well. If you want to add more formatting to your text, you can do that using the toolbar up top. So now that I have an excerpt for my blog post, let's scroll down and edit the search engine listing preview. This is how your blog post will appear in search results when people are browsing search engines like Google. Your search engine listing preview is highly important for SEO, so you want to make sure it's clear, concise, and contains plenty of keywords and keyword phrases. If you click on edit website SEO, you can edit the page title, the description, and the URL handle. Make sure your page title and your description are clear and contain the main keywords related to your blog post. So now that we're finished with our search engine listing preview, let's scroll back up and edit our visibility. Here's where you can make your post visible, hidden, or set a visibility date for your post. By setting a visibility date, you can set the date and the time when your post will be published. But for my post, I'm going to make it visible now. So we've written our blog post and selected all of our publishing settings. So now let's go up to the top and click on save. And my new blog post has been created. So now let's check out my blog post by clicking view at the top right here and see how it looks. So here's the first blog post from my Quantum Design Shopify store. At the top of your blog post, you can see your title, the date it was posted, and your blog tags. On the right hand side, you can also see all of the related articles or blogs that you create and your categories. So let's check out my blog post content. We have my banner, my heading, my text, my video, more text, my call to action, and my product image. When customers click my call to action text or my product image, they should be taken directly to my product listing page. This is a great way to convert your blog readers into actual customers. So now that I've created my first blog, let's head back over to our Shopify dashboard and check out some other options for our blog. If I click the back button here, I should be taken back to the blog post main page. Here you'll be able to view all of the blog posts that you add to your online store and edit them if needed. As mentioned before, you can actually have several blogs on your Shopify store. If you go up top and click on manage blogs, you can see all of the blogs that you've currently created. As you can see, I currently have three blogs in my online store, but I think I'll delete the first two. These are from older examples, so let's delete them and leave only my Quantum Designs blog. There we go. If you wanted to add a new blog, simply click the add blog button at the top right. So now let's go back to the blog's main page. Beside the Manage Blogs tab, you should also see the Manage Comments tab. When viewers start commenting on your blogs, here's where you can go to edit your comments and remove any if needed. But since I just posted my first blog, I don't have any comments, so let's go back to the blog's main page. So the last thing I want to go over is how to add your new blog to your Shopify store's main menu. To do this, let's start by looking under online store on the left hand side and click the navigation tab. Here's where you can view and edit the menus that you've created for your store. So let's head over to the menu section here and click my main menu to edit it. From here, you can view all of the items that are currently added to your menu. To add a link to my new blog, let's go down to the bottom and click on add menu item. This will open up a window on the right hand side where you can add your blog name and the link to your blog. 
Your blog name is what's going to appear in your menu, so I'm going to keep mine short and just name it blog. To add the link to your blog, if you click the text field here, you should see a drop down menu pop up where you can select from various options. For your blogs, you have the option to add a single blog post or the entire blog. I want to add a link to my entire blog, so let's click on blogs. Once you click blogs, you should see all of the blogs that you've currently added to your Shopify store. Right now, I only have my Quantum Designs blog, so let's select that now. Once you've selected the blog to add to your menu, go down to the bottom and click on the add button. And the link to my blog has been added to my main menu. If you want to rearrange the location of the link to your blog on your menu, simply use the icon on the left here and drag it to your desired location. Once you're finished, go down to the bottom right and click on save menu. And my main menu with the link to my new blog has now been updated. So now let's head back over to my online store and check out my main menu to see how it looks. So as you can see, the link to my blog has been added to my main menu right after my collections. When a customer clicks the link, they'll be taken to a page where they can view all of the posts that I've added to this blog. This is where viewers can get a preview of your blog post by viewing your blog post title, your featured image, and the excerpt that you created. Viewers can browse your blog post and select the one that they want to view. So that's a quick overview of how to create and add a new blog to your Shopify store. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Thank you.